are about to embark on week two in, in Ohio. Ohio. We are closer to Lake Erie now. We're about 50 miles east of Cleveland and about 10 miles south of Ashtabula. And we're going to spend another week and a half here. They have everything here. They have beaches. <laughs> Ryan's all about the wineries and the breweries. breweries <laughs> beaches, golf courses. Everything. They have covered bridges and state parks and restaurants and so much to do here. We're really excited for the next couple of weeks. And of course, we're kicking off our one of our first nights at a winery. We are meeting some friends that we met through our Thousand Trails membership, mm -hmm. two other couples, and we're going to listen to some live music and have some wine. And we are at Dibonet, Dibonet. I believe. They're one of the biggest or oldest wineries or both in the area. Yeah. And so we're super excited to kick off this part of our Ohio trip. So stay tuned for more. One of the things that we really love about our Thousand Trails membership is the people that we've met along the way. In Ohio at Kennesee Lakes, we ended up running into two couples that we had previously met at other Thousand Trails parks. One couple we had met at Lake Whitney and the other couple we met at Lake Texoma. And we just so happened to all be in Ohio at the same time as well. So met them in Texas, met up with them again in Ohio. So it's a really cool community and we just have really appreciated that and have had a lot of fun and met some awesome people. So on this particular night in Ohio, we all got together and went to some live music at a winery and just reconnected and revisited and had a really great time together and hopefully we'll see everyone down the road again. So Ryan and I have our separate hobbies. Ryan loves to golf and my hobby other than painting is to beachcomb. If you don't know what beachcombing is, it's basically looking for rocks and sea glass or beach glass or shells that wash up on the beach. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention the beachcombing in this part of Ohio. So I know this is an RV channel, RV focused, but these are some of the things that we like to do. And I spend a lot of time on the beach and I actually have my own channel, which I don't talk about much, but I have another channel on YouTube and it's called Traveling Treasure Finder. I'll put a link below if you wanna check out that channel. But let me just show you what I'm talking about. I've just spent about an hour and a half on the beach on Lake Erie and this is what I found. So this is my beachcombing finds today. A lot of beach glass and some really cool rocks. I found a bunch of heart rocks, heart-shaped rocks, lots of quartz rocks, tons and tons of beach glass. I found a little hagstone. And like I said, if you're interested in finding some of this stuff, go over to my other channel and I am going to post quite a bit about Lake Erie. This is Headlands State Park and I think it's about a mile and it's it's just a really beautiful place and I am going to spend a lot of time while we're in Ohio on the beaches and again if you want to see any of that go over to my traveling treasure finder put your comments below if you want to see more beach stuff on this channel I'm happy to do it because I'm on the beach all the time when I'm near a beach that is. We are at uh, Geneva on the lake in Ohio. We are at Breakwater Beach, and uh, this guy here is hoping to go, go for he a little to swim today. He wants to go swimming. As always, we try to get Jack some opportunities to get to the water, so he's pretty excited. Yeah, we have a full day planned today. Not planned, planned, no. but we are probably going to, well, we're definitely at the beach and we're going to check out Geneva, the town of Geneva and Geneva on the lake and just kind of see, we'll take you along and show you what we find. So if you come to Geneva State Park with your dog, 
the beach here is really rocky and today it's super windy so it was hard for us to get him into the water but if you walk way to the right I'm not sure what direction that is I guess it would probably be east there is a break wall and on the other side of that break wall is this little cove and it's wonderful and quiet and he was able to swim there up next is the visitors bureau because Chris always needs brochures to kind of figure out what we're going to do next One of our very favorite things to do when we're out running around and exploring is to find a picnic spot with a view. And we found this spot today overlooking Lake Erie. So Ryan's getting our picnic out. So here's our lovely picnic spot. We have some local wine that we picked up last night and some wraps and some snacks. And we like to, we just bought this red raspberry cream cheese fry pie just because we were at a local market and they were making them there but this is a really fun activity and we prefer to have a picnic than to eat in a restaurant and ryan is not waiting for me to finish videoing our day at Geneva State Park and that was a lovely lovely park yeah, it was really we, nice yeah it was super windy but we found this great little place for Jack to swim yeah right over a break wall yep and then we got to town about an hour before anything opened because that's how we roll we always are up early ready to go so we did find the covered bridge tour and we went to see three covered bridges down in the Geneva area um, one was really really teeny um, the other first one. And but the we, other two were, I, yeah, the other two were pretty nice. That. There's about 20 covered bridges in the area. We saw three today. One was really teeny, maybe. But one was feet. really big. Yeah, one and was big. we nice. just kind of did it because we had time to kill, but they were kind of cool. They were a little freaky, a little fun and freaky to drive freaky over. Freaky and creaky. Yeah, but well, that was cool. And Geneva on the lake is a little bit Coney Island. It's a little bit... Super touristy. Yeah, it reminded us of the Wisconsin Dells, if you've ever been to the Wisconsin Dells. And then we went to the Geneva on the Lakes Brewery. And, and that, that was also right on Lake Erie. Yeah. So we had a nice breeze there. It was Beautiful. nice. And then we just ventured out and did a couple of wineries. And now we're finishing up and heading home. We are day two on uh, the weekend, Sunday. We're in Ashtabula, Ohio. Of course, searching out a place to bring Jack and have struck out here. Um, they just don't allow dogs yeah. on any of the, the bigger beaches, which I get. I understand why they don't, but it's kind of frustrating when you want to take the doggy swimming. So we're going to bump up the road a ways. And... Yeah, we're going to go up to Conneaut. It's Sunday, so there isn't much open. 
yet in Ashtabula. Ashtabula has a really cute little little downtown. downtown. It's little, yeah. So we're gonna head up to Conneaut, check out some lighthouses, check out a few more covered bridges, and hopefully we can find a place for that guy to right swim right there to go swimming. They found somewhere for Jack to swim. We're wrapping up our visit of Ashtabula and Conneaut. And Ashtabula, we didn't find that much to do. There's probably more to do, but we didn't find it. So we moved on to Conneaut. Conneaut has a huge, beautiful Massive. beach. And you yeah. can take dogs to Yeah, swim there's the... a little section off to the right. Yeah, that the you east can... end of the beach. Yeah, so that was really fun. And we had lunch at Sparky's, or just a snack. Yeah, just snack. Sparky's in Kanya. That was really good. A couple beers. No, we didn't have any beer. That didn't happen. And then we went and explored a couple more covered bridges. We just crossed the largest one in the U.S. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. So the last thing we're going to do in Ohio as far as venturing out is going to a state park. It starts with a P. Pima tuning, something like that. I don't know. So we'll wrap up for today and catch you at the state park. As promised today, we are going to Pima Tuning State Park. We're trying to get there. <laughs> and that's got, actually in Pennsylvania, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's actually in Pennsylvania. We got routed sort of the right way, but sort of not the right way. So we're making our way around to the actual entrance to the state park. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's really been super warm this past week, so I don't know if we're going to get a hike in because of the dog. But maybe a swim for the dog. Maybe a swim for the dog. Yeah, come, we may pop back on. But if we don't... Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe we'll, to our channel. Well, we'll I'm not sure. Up. I'm not sure. You never know. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we have the other we winery don't. to go to yet too. This is true. We're gonna have dinner at a winery on our way back. Yep. So, so we'll pop I back. guess we'll pop back on. So it turns out that we bit off a little bit more than we can chew with the size of this park, and the park is so vast, and the place that we wanted to go look for eagles is way too far away. So we are at the boat launch and we did find a place where we can let Jack get his feet wet. We never use boat launches when there's boats around, but they're usually pretty clean and a good place for Jack to get his feet wet and his body wet. Pop back on, and we did. We're, we're really at our final stop here in Ohio at a place called Amarine Winery. We were going to have lunch here, which we still may. It obviously, you can see it just started raining buckets. So There's just these pop up storms because it's so hot. So we're just kind of waiting <laughs> until we can, until we can get outside. Work. Yeah. This looks like a cool place. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But it's kind do. of on our way home. So. Yeah, they've got a nice little covered patio that we're going to hopefully get on here. Yeah.